I don't usually go out this late at night To the place where the animals go But baby, I'm here and I'm watching you move There's just one thing you should know Girl, you are my fire Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to the channel. I am not on a real road right now. I'm on our road and I am Nate's escort um, for the baler and the diesel tractor, which we use for the baler. And so I am just making sure that he gets there to the field safely. No one smashes into him. And uh, yeah, we're going to bale up our first of the second cut hay. You can follow all that. We have uh, mowed five fields, uh, they're small fields, and um, it's time. I went and raked them yesterday, and it's supposed to rain, we're supposed to get thunder showers tonight at 7 p.m., or between 7 and 9, so we can't leave the hay on the ground for much longer, because it's right now, it's 2.40, 2.45, and uh, it's going to take us a little bit to get this stuff baled in put into the barn so that's what we are doing right now and so Nate is going to go to the first little um, uh, fields that are here on our street they're already they've been raked and um, he actually turned them over again today by hand which is pretty badass I used the big rake and uh, I'm going to go down to the fifth field which we only mowed um, two days ago and it's still slightly, it just needs to be turned over. So I'm gonna attach the rake to the truck and we're gonna turn that hay over and uh, we're gonna get it um, just drying. There's a nice breeze right now. It's about, it says 76 in the cab of the truck. It's just a lot of noise, which is always scary. for a, a day so it's worth it it's totally worth it to me 100 percent here's field number two it's a teensy one but part of me is also glad that i did like big giant windrows instead of lots of little ones because now it'll take less time to go through the whole entire field and get it bailed before it starts to rain. Someone was angry we were here. Nate, should I go on ahead to 
Dave's field and go ahead and start raking that. I will rake so the underside gets a little bit of time to dry. All right, what's happening here? I think the belts came undone. I left the engine running, but disengaged the uh, oh, okay. the baler, and they just got all flapping about. Well, all right then. I'll leave the gas can just in case. Set it by the telephone pole. Okay, sounds good. Okay. So it sounds good. See you there. So he's going to go ahead and he's going to bail up this field and he's going to bail up that field, which should be pretty easy because I only made one wind row for him to go ahead and do. And then he'll meet me down at the fifth field, which is the big one. So we're busting ass to get this done before it rains. You can kind of see it's getting pretty dark out there. like an entire week in something plus for hay. That's great. Of course it's worth it. Of course it's worth it. Alright, so that was awesome. We just put another 47 bales of hay in the barn and we got it all done before it rained, which is awesome. And now we just have to do a few things before we can get the cows in and everyone can be safe and sound. But Thank you guys for watching us get our hay in, and uh, as always, thank you for supporting the channel, and if you have any comments or suggestions on a video that we should do on the farm, let me know down in the comments, so I'll check you guys later. Peace!